welcome to the official launching of Pip Golf Resort, located in Lakwa. Our boat cruise, when the project is completed, will take you from Lakwa here to VI and to Osborne, Falomo, and those areas. So get ready for Pip Golf Resort. So that by the grace of God, we'll have many boats here parked, and everybody can use their boats to transport, move around, and all of that. So that is the kind of dream we are trying to, to come out of. We are not just looking at the Bejuleki or just Lakoe. We want it to be a massive tourism environment. We also have buildings that we are, we want to force development here. We just don't want to make it that people are just going to buy land. We are pushing forward for people to be able to develop. So we are launching two bedroom terrace duplexes, three bedroom terrace duplexes. Also here, which is what we are doing today. We are doing the second set of allocation. People have been asking me, are we going to subfill all the land for everybody? Yes. I'm subfilling the land for everybody. It's part of what they paid for. So we don't want anybody coming here to think they will still come and buy sand and all that. It is our responsibility. And if they ask us, have you done that before? Yes. Go to Prime One. Prime One was very, very waterlogged like this in Shongotedo. And all our clients we sold today, we all reclaimed the land for them. Same thing with phase three. So tell your clients to be rest assured 
by the grace of God, our word is our bond. We will claim it for them. And then we are hoping that in the next 18 months, we want to have the first set of people living here by the grace of God. We are pushing, we are working hard on that. And then to add to our further, just recently we got an approval to build 100 homes for family home funds in Abuja under CBA. And we will also be bringing them here. So you can imagine when 100 homes, apartments start on that side, that side of the land again, you can be rest assured that, man, this place is going to become a city. So I want you to tell your clients, those that are subscribed with us, they should just go and sleep and see their money multiply. Because um, we are not telling them to do MMM, but the infrastructures, the things we are putting in place will gradually shape in the environment, add value to the environment, and they will see their money grow progressively. So these are the things we are bringing up to you here. We'll be having about three artificial leaks now. Formerly we're thinking of two, one here, one here, but we're going to be having about three now because we've also seen a lot of people that are subscribed into the lake house. A lot of people want to have their house back in the lake. The premium plot is really, really selling fast. And then we also want to create more of that. And then one of, our, one of the unique features of our estate is we do not want too much crowded estates so our approval standards, everything remains the same. We want to control population. That's why we are pushing the resort on this side. The resort will be on the side that, you know, you cannot control who they will rent the property to. So we don't want them to also um, pollute people that have families here. Let me use the word pollute. If you have some people that are smoking or they are drinking alcohol in their chalet and all of that. So we are going to put them in a secluded area, but it's part of the estate and there will be controlled access and all of that. So I'll be free for, to accept questions as regards the design. If you have questions as regards the development, presently we have fenced the property this side, we've gone this side, we've done about um, we've done about 75% of the fencing. We are reclaiming now. If you go inside, you see the reclamation we are doing. We are focusing on the road. We want to do. We are doing two roads actually. We are going to do a, a temporary road, which is the one we are passing now. This one we are passing and cut across the land, and it's presently just for. Um, heavy duty trucks. The permanent one comes this way. And the beauty of the environment again is government has acquired this area for a scheme. So it's called Lagasa scheme now. So it's more or less like inside the government GRA now. So we begin to enjoy a lot of benefits and all of that. So that all of these factors will, will increase the property value. Uh, in case I've missed anything, you have questions you want to ask, I'll be here to take questions. Barista Glory, can you help us? If you have questions, you can just write it down so that we can quickly take them. So there are single houses like this. There are single houses. The one bedroom chalet has a, has a living area of 21 square meters. So I can show you what 21 square meters looks like, which is the city room. Starting from here, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, by four. One, two, three, four. So this is like 20, 21 square meters. The city room for the one bedroom challenge. That is very big, I must tell you. I know that our designs are very generous. We also have a kitchen that is nine square meters. The kitchen is bigger than this podium. One, two. So one, two. So the kitchen is bigger than this podium. Three meters by three meters is an average of nine square meters. And then it also has a, has a bathroom that is three square meters, a, a toilet that is three square meters. And the bedroom is 18 square meters. So it's very big for people who want to use it for one bedroom, chalet, or post. The two bedroom chalet also has its own dedicated car park. It has um, 21, living, 21 square meters for the living room, nine for the kitchen, 18 for the rooms. It has two rooms, that's a circulation area of four square meters for the lobby. And then the entrance porch is another six square meters. So this one is also very close to what we have for our raised bungalow. If you've seen in big terrace two or in big prime one, very close to the floor plan and the ground floor. So they are fairly, fairly, very, very spacious. And then all around them is green. All around them, we're going to ensure green. And this development, we are partnering with a resource company to handle it. The front is all going to be glass. The way it is, exactly this what is here, what we want to achieve. To all the glass and then you have your curtains and we don't want to build a conventional nigeria design there we want it to be something that will attract foreigners when they come they can google online and then we are hoping that we too as a company will buy plenty so that we can be regenerating income from it okay so that's that on the floor plan for 
for the challenge. So the price for the challenge, the one bedroom is 15 million. Um, initial deposit is 20 percent. Uh, that's three million payments over six months, no interest. And then with interest, you can extend up to 24 months. We only have just we made provision for them to do just about 60 of it. And then we are hoping that the patronage will be good if they want to extend it. But what it means is when they are extending it, we need to create more commercial facilities. So we are still hoping that we'll still get more people want to build restaurants there. People want to build maybe pharmacy, hospital, commercial things that will service the chalet area. Maybe you want to have a shawarma bar or anything like that to service. So when they come into the resort area, they don't have to go outside to do any shopping again. So um, that's that about them. So any questions on this? Yes. Any questions?